Oh, this is not a spring chicken yet. While the rest of you are, oh, wait a minute. Having record here, we're here in the marina, Marina Del Rey, an area outside of LA. And believe it or not, see the wind blowing? It's actually really nice and cool. Oh, I know, I'm just making you jealous. Oh, well, you know, talking about jealous, do you think those other countries are jealous about how our stock market is able to rebound so well after a 500 point drop? Well, for now, we're going to bring old Ken all the comments on the headlines. No, I see the, I, I'm above the top this of the fence, so. Okay, so as you can see today, we decided to give you a nice view of the marina, <laughs> which you don't traditionally always get to see. I but know. it is really nice outside and here. And this today. is a 3D camera that's got the zoom lens on it, so. And the problem with the stock market is that the adults are not running it and need to be replaced with those that know you should be buying. I, I heard that this morning. That's another one from the White House that right now the, the adults are all on vacation and they've got people that shouldn't be out there panicking when instead this is, you know, they said you don't, <laughs> I, I know, that's what they said. I mean, every time Obama gets into trouble, there's a problem that the adults are not in charge. And Obama plans for another stimulus since today's job numbers prove the stimulus worked. Well, what he did, folks, which is really disappointing because I at least thought that the people over at the Wall Street Journal would be have integrity. No, he re-advised the last two months job figures who'd been re-advised downward to now show that they hired more people than were originally said, which they re-advised down, and then said today's figures, who were exactly what I knew they were going to be on Wednesday, were now said that they're not as bad as what they originally thought, mm -hmm. even and that the unemployment rate actually fell now. Can you believe that? Oh, it did? It fell, That's yeah. That's amazing. Of course, it's because... Uh, like 60-some thousand people are no longer seeking employment. That's, that doesn't make... The unemployment rate, basically, they, one person did say they think it's about 19% now, no matter what the president is telling people. Yeah. And Democrats look at the market collapse as a reason for Obama to order tax increases to be used to hire people and ease the market fears. Oh, yeah. The Obama is ordering <laughs> business in this nation before the end of this summer to hire one million unemployed vets. They, they said it will help the economy and help put these people... You know, he basically doesn't give a damn about the military to begin with because he's all, he's cutting $700 billion out and then another $700 Wait a minute, billion. so he's creating the unemployed people he's, he's creating the people unemployed he... people that he's telling you to hire and said there are means to get make you hire these people if you refuse to do it, which means he's going to do the tax bit again, which, remember yesterday, if people paid any attention to what we did, that we said that uh, he had the uh, had one of the Federal Reserve offshoot banks threatened to uh, charge people rates more money than the taxes would be mm -hmm. unless they took the money out of the bank and invested it in, in hiring people. That was still the most ridiculous thing. I still have to pinch myself on that one. Yeah, well, that's how he does business. They said there's nobody uh, there's nobody that knows what we're about, you know, what's being done. They said there's a whole bunch of people that read books and wrote books, and everybody knows that you get all the information you need to run a business out of a book. And bipartisan deal reached an FAA partial shutdown. Okay, Congress is not in session, so therefore you couldn't reach a bipartisan deal. <laughs> There's not in session. Oh, they had a Democrat and Republican in the room? They had a Democrat and Republican in a room, and they'd agreed to the... What the agreement was is they're going to stop funding all of these uh, airports... They're, they basically, uh, uh, there's 13 airports, including in, in um, Nevada, that have like five, six people a week using the airport. Mm. And the government is keeping them open because they're all in the districts of Democrats. And F-16s intercept plane flown by a 75-year-old woman. Yeah, well, that's what their job is to do. I mean, if they did their job, you wouldn't have had the plane crash in the Pentagon. You wouldn't have had the things crash in the Twin Towers. So other than that, you know... They could have shot those down, but they didn't. I know, and they didn't want to shoot it down. See what happens? Yep. A Muslim man said he was fired for refusing to shave his beard. Uh, it's called You Can't Have a Beard Uncovered Beard in a, in a, a restaurant. In a restaurant. Yeah. You must cover those beards, and as I understand, his religion said that he, could, he did not have to do that, so they fired him. It's the rules. Well, it, it had nothing to do with him being Muslim or not. It had more to do with the facial hair and... No, it has to do the, with the fact that the Obama administration mm -hmm. basically... Uh, basically, don't, they said, don't be any other race than Muslim. 
because if they are, you get in trouble, but not with the, not the Muslim, but the great big baker coming at us there, so. Ooh, we're gonna see this one coming, and the Academy Defense Winfrey as honorary officer. When I said she's made one film and basically has nothing to do with the film industry, they said she's a television person. So why are they honoring her with? Uh, they uh, said it was, uh... Ambassador and Angel Award. An Ocean or, uh, Charity of Ambassador event. and Angel Award. Yeah, they're going to stop filling their great big yard. 2000 World Ocean Day Selling Charity Event. Yeah, which means they just got people out on it, they put them on the boat. But, uh, no, they said that it was a mistake. Everyone knows it's a mistake. They said this is called the Politically Correct Award Show. Oh, that, that's really bad when they start Well, I just made like Perry... They just made uh, Lawrence Fishburne Perry White. What? In a new Superman movie, yeah. That does not work. It's political correctness going unbelievably yeah, that's bad. That's unbelievably so. bad. Strauss Con made makes a pill a civil suit win. <coughs> well, yeah, she's trying to get a civil suit done in a highly black area of the city. <coughs> and they, it doesn't make any difference because the courts have to throw it out. I mean, she has, she can't. Uh, the, she can win anything she wants to win, but then she has to go to a court that will simply then say that, uh, how many times did you lie to people, lady? I know. Well, then there goes her, what do you, what do you want to call it? Um, I'm trying to think of her believability. Well, she has no believability because, I mean, she lied about one thing after another. She lied to get into the country, and now they're trying to throw her out of the country. So if you have somebody that lies all the time, then how do you know when they're telling you the truth? Uh, well, because what, what I'm telling you is a lie, and if I'm telling you a lie and I lie all the time, then what I'm telling you, and I'm telling you if I lie, I'm actually telling you the truth. That goes to an episode of Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> and the judge, American can sue Donald Rumsfeld over torture. No, it's a Democrat. They already Supreme Court rules. You can't do that. So, but a judge, lower court Democratic judges are overruling Supreme Court rulings now, so... And Obama, Bernanke, out of ammo to boost jobs and growth. No, they're not, because uh, they they forgot that he has, he's the President of the United States. If he wants to say the unemployment rate is now below that when I of when I took office, who's going to who's going to say it? Because the Wall Street Journal isn't going to say it anymore. And Bush, I know. And you thought they were really a financial newspaper. No, what happened it's is really disappointing. Rupert Murdoch is more afraid of going to jail than he is of losing money. Oh, wow. So he'll basically, remember, he supported Obama the first time, and he's going to support, he's supporting Obama, you know, no matter what happens to our country, he'll support Obama. And Bush explains slow reaction to September 9-11, oh, September 11th attacks. He reacted almost immediately. The problem was they put him, they took him and put him in a bunker, and they divided the country up because, uh, you know, it was his faster reaction. First of all, he has to have Congress called together to actually declare to do something. So, and U.S. charges 72 over nightmare child porn network. I know. I mean, it, that's basically they've been. The, the all you got to do is turn the internet on, folks. And you, I mean, there's got to be like five or six million links. I know. All you got to do is just to put, go down the top 100, and you can arrest people. I know, I know, it's pretty easy, isn't it? And I then know. they've got the ISPs and everything sitting there. It sets there. They know where everybody's at. They just don't do anything, so. And screening has little impact on breast cancer death study. Well, I know. That's why they're basically getting, uh, Sibelius and their healthcare people are getting ready to dump the breast screening for women now because they, they're, and their opinion, it's a waste of money. Of course, though, their opinion is the only one that counts, even though it's not doctors that are making the opinion. It's a panel now of, uh, it's a panel of educated people. See, that probably have nothing to do with the medical industry. They have nothing to do with the medical industry. <laughs> Being counted. Remember, Sibelius used to be the governor of, um, of, uh, of the uh, state of Kansas, and she believes in a. She's the one that just awarded said that women have more rights than men, and that women should have all their stuff supplied free, whereas men should have to pay for everything. Stepfather's pickup truck taken from home of a dead New Hampshire girl. I know. First of all, my my father, my father was a police officer, said that the the first thing you do when you have any problem domestic problem is you always go to the wrong source and you never find out what caused the problem. That's what it is. They always arrest the uh, the male in the family. That's how it always really? is. Yeah, and they find out a lot of times is a lot of times it's a woman that does something, not a male. So And Potter Finale conjures up one billion dollars worldwide. Okay, I'm gonna explain things to people. There are too many movies making a billion dollars this summer. When you only had uh, seven in the first 111 years the film industry and now all of a sudden you've had four in one and four in one month 
Yeah, what did they do? And, uh, how are they counting? Uh, well, we've been to those movies that have made a billion dollars. And these movies on, uh, we've been to the midnight showings, we've been to the show, first showings in a day, we've been to later showings. There's no, no one sitting in those theaters. And we don't, we don't go to the same theater every time, we go to a different theater. There's and, no one there. And Earth once had two moons, scientists say. Yeah. So <laughs> that's their, their hypothesis that they crashed together to make one moon. So, but Oh, is that what they really said? Yeah. Oh, Animonte Bobolism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, if you learn nothing from your failure, you surely must be a politician. <laughs>